Jeff Snyder here at the Raps Interview Studio at London House at the Toronto International Film Festival, and we are here with three of the baddest motherfuckers in Toronto, the team behind Hardcore, Charlotte Copley, director Ilya Neyshuler, and producer Timur Bekmambetov. Guys, thanks for coming in. Thanks you, for having us. You absolutely rocked the Ryerson last night. So, Ilya, tell me sort of, you know, where this movie came from. I know uh, you directed this sh uh, short Bad Motherfucker as a music video for your band, right? Made that video, and it got viral pretty quickly, and Timor saw it. And pretty soon, I think a couple of days after we released it, he Facebooked me and said, do you want to speak in Skype? I was like, sure. What is this about? And he's like, let's do a feature. And I was like, really? A feature? This? And it, it, to me, it seemed like a really strange idea. How did you uh, link up with Charlto here? I, I started writing the script, I think page three, the, the original Jimmy would arrive in page three. And um, I remember going over to Timur's office and being like, you know, we should get, we should get a good actor to, to play this. And it should be, it shouldn't be, it should be a foreigner. It, should, it, should be, it, shouldn't, it shouldn't be a Russian. He's like, who do you think? I'd be like, well, I think Charlto Copley would be perfect. I was just said it because I thought it would be great. We'd never get him, not for this. And uh, Timur's like, oh, I know him. And uh, next thing, uh, he Timor set up a Skype, and we talked with Charlotte. And um, I said, "We're going to do this thing." And, and you know, you saw the bad motherfucker, and that's um, that's the way it's going to be shot. And I'm going to write a script. I don't know what it's about yet, um, but if you're interested, I'll write specifically, you know, for you. So, Ilya, tell me, like, what you know, when you're shooting a film like this, what's the biggest technical challenge? Uh, making sure that the audience uh, does not get motion sickness. That was that was the first and foremost thing that was in the mind in the beginning. We did a lot because I get motion sick really easy, mm -hmm. and I, we just did test upon test upon test. I was writing the script. Where the guys were going out shooting tests, fight tests, driving tests, just a nonstop variety of tests. We'd watch like three hours on the big screen in the theater, and and once we reached the point where like it's actually because I was nervous all the way up until like maybe two weeks until we started shooting, and I was like, okay, this actually works, and I feel good all the way through all the sorts of sequences. That's for the technical side of the actual shooting. Um, but just the fact that there's no points of reference. You can't really like, I want to see a scene about two guys talking in the kitchen. There's plenty of scenes shot regularly. You can just go back, okay, well, uh, you know, study that and kind of uh, reference it. But with this, you're like, I want to do a scene shot like we're shooting it and you can't really, you, you're creating as you go, which is it's, again, a blessing and a curse. You're kind of like a sort of a pioneer, which is super cool. But at the same time, you're a little bit out there shooting in the dark. I mean, it's, it's, it's a first-person shooter video game come to life. Right. For me, doing the character, I was very cognizant of, like, don't take this thing seriously at all. You know, and the, my, my, for me, the most fun characters to play are the ones that don't take themselves that seriously. You can see it's fun. This is a guy that's having fun, actually, even in, in, within the story with these characters. That'll do it for the team behind Hardcore. Be sure and check it out at the Toronto International Film Festival. Guys, thanks for joining us.